News moves fast. Over the weekend, Manus AI became a huge thing across the AI world, and I'm going to explain to you what it is. Basically, Manus is like if deep research was crossed with Claude, and that's not an accident because later in the weekend, so this all came out Friday, right? Manus dropped their release video. They're a Chinese startup. They came out and shared a lot about sort of what they're accomplishing and why they're doing it and their passion for sort of making this more available to people. They had a killer demo video where I think they were managing like 26 social accounts at once using Manus. And I thought, well, we'll have to see how this goes, right? Um, well, it turns out that Manus is a really fancy wrapper for Claude. And that came out by Sunday. And so someone figured out how to drop out sort of the tool set for Manus. And what it looks like is that it's Claude Sonnet with, I think, 30 different tools that it can call. And the results are real. Like the, the system is slow. It takes a really long time. Sometimes it errors out, which I think is just scaling issues for the team. They're trying to get those chips in as quick as they can. But it does work. Uh, it produces uh, highly detailed results, uh, stuff that's on par with O3 uh, and deep research. And everyone assumed at the beginning of the weekend that that was because it was a new model that the Chinese lab had built. But it turns out it was Claude Sonnet. And what the team had done is actually agentify Claude Sonnet. They'd given it this wide range of uh, tool sets that, that Claude could use. And they'd given it special instructions and they'd wrapped it up and that's Manus. So we'll see how long that lasts. Um, I'm not sure if the terms of service for Claude include commercializing Claude and calling it something else. Um, and I'm not sure how enforceable that would be uh, under Chinese jurisdiction for Claude anyway. That's a question for the lawyers. Um, and it is possible that more of the story will come out and people will say, oh, no, no, it wasn't, you know. It wasn't really Claude, they have something different. Um, so we'll see. It's it's an emerging conversation. I, I, think the thing, I, I think the thing that is most interesting to me is that I was not surprised when I heard that it was Claude and 30 tools. In other words, we have reached the point in the AI revolution where if someone tells you I'm using an existing an existing intelligence, but I gave it new tools and it can do something absolutely incredible. It can create a 75 page document on a new medical treatment for multiple sclerosis, which was one of the things that it actually did over the weekend. Um, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And that's where we're at. And it underscores to me that we talk a lot here about how quickly intelligence is scaling and rightly so. But what we don't talk about as much is the intelligence we already have can go a long way with a little bit better tooling. And I wonder if part of the agent age in 2025 is going to be essentially taking the intelligence that we've got, which is already very good, and putting wheels on it, right? Giving it tooling, giving it the chance to actually go out and get something done. So we will see how the story of Madness unfolds a bit more. Uh, I'll probably be writing more on it, talking more about it. It's a big story. Uh, it's very, very difficult to get performance like deep research. Congrats to the team, however they did it. Um, it's an achievement regardless. And sort of, we'll see where we go from here. Good luck with the scaling, guys. <laughs>